Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Here we go with the preseason promo with this loading screen yesterday. It is confirmed that preseason is the next upcoming promo happening tomorrow on FIFA 22. You can see three different card designs and the Foot 23 little text up there at the top of this loading screen tells us a little bit of the story of what we might be able to expect of this promo starting tomorrow. I know we touched on it earlier in the week if you saw that video. I wanna go a little bit deeper today, specifically with those car designs they show, maybe how they could be impacting what content we get in the coming days. I also wanna take a look back yesterday at the insane 99 rated Mohamed Salah Ultimate Footies SBC. Might have been our last Footies SBC of the entire promo because I do believe Today is the last full day of footies. It's kind of crazy how it's, the time has flown so fast. Five weeks now have gone by of all footies content and it's ending today and tomorrow morning. So crazy that we are at that point now that our favorite summer promo has come to an end. But there's a lot to talk about related to the market, related to shapeshifter cards maybe not being in packs for this next batch based off of seeing that loading screen that we have right now for preseason. All of that and more in today's video. For, so if you're excited for preseason, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. One quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Shout out to Manscaped for once again sponsoring today's video on the channel. It's back to school time and we want to make sure that you pack the essentials to have the best year yet. The Manscaped 4th Generation Performance Package is just that. Be ready for whatever is in your daily schedule this year with these great tools and products from Manscaped. Right now, you can use code TFA for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Now, once again, school is back and the Performance Package 4.0 is here to teach the boys a lesson on male hygiene. Let me take you through what is inside this Performance Package. First of all, we have the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer with the 7,000 RPM speed motor, multifunction on-off switch, can engage in a travel lock mode as well if you're taking this on the go. It's got the 400K LED spotlight and it's waterproof. And look at this, man. It doesn't hurt me at all. I love this thing. Seriously, TFA used and approved. Also, as a part of the performance package, we have the ear and nose hair trimmer called the Weed Whacker. It's great. Along with that, we have the Crop Reviver spray and we have the Crop Preserver deodorant for down underneath the boys so make sure you get yourself this performance package 4.0 it all comes included with a pair of boxers in this nice leather tote bag and if you're just interested in any of these products individually you can check out manscaped.com code tfa for 20 percent off for all of these products together and way more this is just the beginning of everything that is on manscaped.com so make sure you go and check it out and thanks for sponsoring again today's video now back to the video. So let's talk about preseason because of course this loading screen dropped yesterday and there's a lot we can learn from it. First of all, the whole premise of this preseason promo is the preseason leading up into the next game. That's why you see the foot 23 at the top of this. That's the whole point. We are trying to go and get rewards in FIFA 22 and FIFA 23 from playing the game right now. Now, and I want to take a look at some of these rewards from the past two years because in FIFA 21, they were okay. This year in FIFA 22, at the very beginning, they were even a little bit better. Hopefully, going into FIFA 23, they'll be even better yet. Take a look at this. Back in FIFA 20, we had two coin boosts, two kits, and two chemistry styles that were attainable, and that was it. This last year, from 21 into 22, we had the coin boost, two of them. We had the Kickstarter packs, which gave you chem styles, contracts, kits, and a gold players pack. They also gave out league-specific packs for the top five leagues, helping you build your starter squads around whichever league you would like to choose. So that's obviously a step up from what it was uh, from FIFA 20 into 21 this last year from 21 into 22. So now from 22 to 23, what is it gonna be? What is EA Sports gonna do this year to up the ante just a little bit? I would of course think they might have to give out some chemistry styles again, probably some coin boost, probably a couple packs. Maybe we can just get a little bit more, right? A couple more packs instead of just one gold players pack or instead of like three Bundesliga players pack, give us like, you know, a half a 50K pack. It's not super crazy, right? Six players, all rare, all gold, you know, like one of those. Make 
you know, that's something we could go and grind for too. I know that EA is not going to want to give out a lot since it's the start of a brand new game and they want people to spend FIFA points to go out and of course build up their ultimate teams from the get go and from the start. I get that, but Regardless, this is just something nice where since we're starting to get all this information about FIFA 23, it's nice to now have the opportunity to do some objectives and SBCs and feel like you're giving yourself just a little bit of a head start at the next year's game when it does come around. It's not a huge head start, just a little bit of one, but it's nice, right? It's nice to feel like you're kind of setting yourself on the front fit foot for that. Now you're like, Nate, this whole promo can't be rewards for FIFA 23, right? No, that is not the case. And that's why I think you see these three different car designs on the loading screen out here. First, let's start on the left. This is the player moments SBC car design. Think about like Lucas Paqueta had one of these from earlier on in the year. We haven't seen this car design used in a hot minute. Now, what we have seen recently, and this is where I think there might be a correlation here, but I'm, you know, it's not guaranteed at all we have seen a lot of the transfer cards added we have got guys like gold holland we looked at it in yesterday's video they're now on footbin not erland erling is what i'm trying to search up erling erling holland can i type here we go erling holland is now a manchester city player in fifa and on friday depending on what cards are in packs his manchester city card might actually be in packs a lot of cards like Arsenal Gabriel Jesus or Sterling uh, on Chelsea are already in packs in the game. But I do think that some of these moments player SBCs might be the way that EA Sports is going to give us transferred player cards. Now, in years past, they haven't used this card design. They have used, if we actually go and look at Cristiano Ronaldo from last year in FIFA 21, they used the premium SBC card design to do this. We had guys like Leroy Sané, Timo Werner a couple years ago in foot 20 in a 21. And then we had these, this one last year, only a couple of them were released. Hopefully what it means is they're going to be doing that same thing this year, but they're just using a different car design. I don't exactly know, but I was a bit surprised to see this one on the menu. So we will just have to see, or if it's somehow EA just going to give us player SBCs again with really high ratings towards the end of this year and just give us another kind of example of SBCs to go out and grind, kind of like during footies with really high rated cards. Maybe that's what this is for. But SBC specific, of course, we will have to see what this actually means. But I've got high, high hopes for it, to be completely honest. I really hope that the transfer SBCs are involved somehow, and I just think this might be the way that they go and do it. Now, another SBC car design on this menu is the showdown card design we have not had a showdown sbc in a while but now since the leagues are back since games are happening every weekend once again and during the week as well for some clubs we now have the potential for showdown sbcs and that was a big hit last year during this promo you guys might remember this is the number one favorite i think that a lot of people remembered from last year in preseason was this 97 rated 90 from the MLS All-Star game. He got upgraded, got that plus two, and his card is absolutely disgusting, right? We also had a Genduzi 97 rated card at the end of the game last year. I mean, look at those stats, right? This is this is September type stats right there for a 97 rated Genduzi card. So what this means to me is it is potentially dropping again showdown sbcs are going to be a feature through this preseason promo for however long it does run and maybe even starting this friday just think about for a second think about the potential since darwin nunez now has a liverpool card in the game just imagine for a second a darwin nunez like showdown sbc where it's like Nunez versus Harry Maguire, or with the Liverpool Man U game coming up this Monday, Friday would be, Friday or Saturday even, would be perfect for EA Sports to drop a showdown SBC for that big game that is upcoming and start this preseason off with a bang. So EA, if you're listening to this at all, or if you need any ideas for showdowns, this weekend, this Monday game technically, in the next week, not on the weekend, but this Monday game would be perfect for a first showdown. I mean, so many people would love to see, whether it's Nunez or whoever it is, Liverpool versus Man U, perfect opportunity for a showdown SBC. And there's gonna be so many throughout the course of this preseason promo. We should get some really great cards via showdowns. And of course, since they are showdowns, they have that potential to live upgrade based on a win or a draw. Plus one for a draw, plus two for a win, and then they get the upgraded card design. 
You guys know how those work. We've seen them throughout the year already in FIFA 22. So definitely watch out for those. I'm kind of excited for the showdowns because those are just very exciting, fun cards whenever they are dropped in the game. Now, the third card here is the team of the season card design in the middle. Now, what does this mean, right? Does this mean that, you know, TOTS cards are going to be back in packs? I think that is what it is kind of leading us to believe. But my question is, are TOTS cards the best cards that are going to be in packs? Now, this is what I remember from last year, from the end of footies to the beginning of preseason. Right now, we have 200 special cards in packs with all of the best shapeshifters, so many of the great team of the season cards. It really can't get any better than this. And I'm telling you guys, probably tomorrow on Friday, it's going to feel like we're taking a step back. There probably will still be a decent amount of special cards and packs, but there probably won't be as many shapeshifters, and it'll probably be a lot more TOTS cards. Now, the one thing I'm a bit curious about is, with the TOTS card on the loading screen, does that mean that there are going to be no shapeshifters in packs at all? And right now, I don't feel comfortable saying that that is the case, but what I would really watch out for today on Thursday is, sometimes they update the loading screen on a Thursday, and we could get more information today telling us what kind of cards could be released back into packs. And if there is a shapeshifter card design on the loading screen after they update that, then I would say, okay, some shapeshifters are gonna be back in packs. It's not time to go and buy them because I will think, and I would say that if shapeshifters are not included in this next batch that is gonna come out, some of these cards are absolutely going to go up in price just due to rarity um, and just due to the shapeshifters being the best cards from the best promo, the latest promo via cards in packs on this game. And look at their prices, right? Sun, 294. He's actually up a little bit from where he was. Ginola's 1.1 lows. Messi is down bad. Ronaldo is down bad, 2.419. I mean, that's a bit of an undercut there, but still that's really low for where he has been. A lot of these shapeshifters are down so much but they're still also pretty rare. So just be very careful watching the loading screen today and maybe any information that we get from EA Sports because some shapeshifters, if you want to buy them for their, your team, they could be going out of packs for a week or two, um, maybe until later on during preseason when they put more batches in, more cards in packs, and we build up you know, with more shapeshifters in packs if they don't start there from the beginning. But any of the shapeshifters that are very popular meta that go out of packs tomorrow, I do think have an opportunity to rise up in price a little bit. So that's the biggest thing I would say about this loading screen that I think impacts some of you guys' teams and, you know, buying cards for end game team and stuff like that. Watch out for the shapeshifter cards. And I do think that an updated loading screen today might show us a couple more card designs of promos that will be featured in packs. We'll just have to see if they update it or not, but that's one of the biggest thing, uh, things that I'm looking out for because again, like we said and like we've mentioned, these card prices have gone down a lot. Cristiano Ronaldo shapeshifter, uh, two five flat. So the two four, the two four one nine is just sitting. That's crazy. So he's down from where he was. Messi is down a lot. We just looked at Ginola, right? Ginola was 1.1 million coins, 1.1, um, almost. 5, 1.15. That was really, really low for that card. So yeah, he's down a lot. So all of these guys are down, but maybe if they're back in packs, they could even go lower. If they're not in packs, obviously they might have a bit of a jump up because they are still really rare cards. So that's a big part of what I'm kind of watching on the market. But in all, in total, this preseason promo, and I just got to be honest, it's probably going to seem a step backwards in terms of hype from where we are right now with footies, with the insane SBCs, the Salah, the Neymar, all this stuff that is very craftable right now. Enjoy it. Enjoy the grind. Enjoy how fun it is and how craftable it all is because it's not going to be as exciting at least this next week, in my opinion, in terms of the content for Foot 22. Now, when you then you flip the switch and you start to think about Foot 23 a little bit, I understand a little bit of extra hype there. But still, just be very, very careful getting super hyped about preseason because it's just going to be a different level of hype than footies, in my opinion. So we're going to watch that loading screen today, see if we get any more information from that before we head into tomorrow and Friday about what could be in packs because that could impact some things. Now, speaking of today on Thursday, it is rewards day and it's last chance day to full send footies. I'm going to try to get the Neymar completed today. I'm working on St. Max. I even started the Salah SBC a little bit. It's the last day uh, with the footies, batch three cards, and packs. So hit your 85 times 10. Hit your player picks that you want to hit. 
um, what maybe the 75 times five upgrade packs, because yes, these will still be decent after today and tomorrow when there's new cards that are in packs, but I just don't think they will be as OP as they have been. So that's the one thing that I would say is just be a little bit careful uh, and, and try to craft as much as you can. Seriously, I think, like I said earlier in the week, this is just the week to grind and to go for it and to full send it because of the cards that are in packs, it's not gonna get any better than this. And the SBCs are really, really great as well. Now, speaking on the SBC side of things, just really quickly, Mohamed Salah dropped yesterday. Of course, the leak was true. He did get dropped. Incredible card. Position change, premium footies item, five star, five star. I mean, this is the be this is the best Salah card we've ever had in any FIFA. The added traits as well. Incredible, incredible item. Now, I think the price here is a little bit steep. And I don't know if it's just me. I understand that it's Premier League hype. It's a position change. And I get that. 1.7 million coins compared to 1.3 for Neymar. Um, you know, I mean, I was hoping Salah would be right around 1 million coins. But, of course, that position change and it just being a 99 rated card, I think EA know they can get some people to go ahead and do this and that's why you saw a lot of the top tier cards drop yesterday ginola messi ronaldo some of those top tier shapeshifters dropped in price i think it really has a, a direct correlation with the salah spc coming out so many people wanting to go and to craft him just because of how elite that card looks and if you take a look at the upvotes and downvotes a lot of upvotes on the salah card for good reason because it is a really insane insane item and i understand why people are excited about it because it's incredible so ggs the a sports but i think that's going to be our last footies sbc of the footies promo but what a good one to go out with right and what a great week it has been i mean just to shed some light again on think about how insane this past week has been neymar saint max varan now salad dembele just incredible amounts of sbcs great players and great opportunities to craft them as well. So GG's once again to EA Sports for a great end to footies. And it's been so craftable with so much content in general. It's been a really nice footies promo in general. Now, sp speaking about fodder a little bit, because we just talked about an SBC. We need to talk about fodder. Fodder's low once again, and the, the price fluctuations are continuing to happen. 84s did go up yesterday. I saw some people were like, Nate, 84s didn't rise as much. On the PlayStation, I can't speak for all the other markets. It looks like Xbox, they did pretty good too. But, I mean, they were really low yesterday. I mean, we're talking 3,000 coins low for some of these cards. And a lot of the 84s went up over 4,500 coins, closer to 5K at the content drop yesterday, um, even with everything going on. Now, some of them didn't move a ton. And I think today you could see some of these prices go even lower into the, the day, the, the morning, because of those rivals rewards. And people are still grinding the gold pack method and all sorts of things like that. So really watch out for some low points on fodder. Get on those bids because I do think there will be a bit of a spike today since it's the last day of the footies batch three being in packs. You know, the 85 times 10, the 85 times five. There might be, of course, a lot of people today trying to go out and get those done like the last time that they possibly can. Or even an 86 plus player pick would be a good thing to try to go and do before the new batch of cards is dropped so i do think fodder today can have its usual fluctuation but after it does get a little bit low in the morning also we're gonna have marquee matchups today so we're gonna have to watch and see what the um tradable pack supply is like and what kind of packs they give from marquee matchups because it always will supply the market a bit today and again like i mentioned if the shapeshifters that you're watching if it doesn't look like they're going to be back in packs and you want to take a gamble on it, then feel free if there's any price drops today on some big time shapeshifters, maybe you'll pull the trigger on a card like that um, just because of that supply ending if they are not going to be in packs. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for content today and with the fodder a little bit as well, another fluctuation today, maybe enough to trade in it and, and make some coins with that or just stock the club and get some SBC done cheaper uh with the fodder prices still being really really low and just like the whole fodder market being squashed with all of the top tier really high rated cards that are in packs right now at the moment so that's kind of what's going on with the market today it's probably going to be a quiet thursday right thursdays are always really quiet but really what it is it's it's okay if, in my opinion if it's a quiet day time to grind the last spcs the last player picks the last day of the french cup to get your games and i gotta win what is it like six games I got to win six games today to get all the rewards. Last chance to do a Mavi 
or Mandanda or Jelson Martins as well. Some of those guys are expiring. So kind of another day to complete the SBCs, complete the objectives and catch up a little bit on the last full day of the footies promo. Also to get those summer swap tokens, if you're still going for a guy like Ben Yedder or any of the fodder packs, still grinding those, they're not done being released yet. There are 10 tokens more to go. 40 have been released, 10 have yet to be released. But still, if you're on that grind, you know, there's more time. If the content's not insane today, more time to go ahead and get some of that stuff done and to get ahead of the curve there and towards the end goal of what you're working on. So that's the video for today, guys. Really, we just are awaiting that preseason promo starting and hopefully learning a little bit more information today from a secondary loading screen by EA Sports about what cards maybe could be in packs. I hope that EA full send this preseason promo. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up on this video. Comment down below if you do have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.